Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would do a video on what's in my cosmetic bag. This is my cosmetic bag that I carry in my purse. And it is like a black quilted cosmetic bag that I got from Sephora. It was a um, 500 point perk that they had um, not too long ago. And it had some a variety of products in it like some bite beauty and different things like that but anyway so let's get started and like I said this is the cosmetic bag that I carry on a daily basis in my purse so the first thing I have in here is the body shop body butter and this is the scent um cements oh cannot say it it's the clementine it's not, it's called something else, but it's a clementine, but it's like an orangey scent. I got this small thing thinking I would put it in my purse and I would use it. I don't use it. It was a little kit that I bought off of um, Ulta, Ulta.com, and it had this and the shower gel and a scrub. Now, I do like the shower gel and the scrub. I'm just not a big lotion user but it does smell really good if you like a citrus orangey scent it almost has the scent of um tang if you're familiar with you know that powdered drink that you buy at the grocery store called tang kind of smells like that but anyway i have that in my purse wish i can remember what it's called it starts with an s i just can't pronounce it right now i'll put it in the description box because it's right here oh wait it's right here it's really little let me get my glasses out. Oh, I hate having to wear these. Okay. It is called Satsuma. S-A-T-S-U-M-A. Satsuma. Which is a clementine. Which is a little bitty orange. Anyway. Okay. Move on. I also have in here as my touch-up powder is the It Cosmetics Innovative Technology Cosmetics. This is the Celebration Foundation in Fair. And I just carry this in here just as a little touch-up. I start getting a little shiny or a little oily, or if I start having my makeup kind of um, break down a little bit, then I can have a little bit of a touch-up. And it does have a little um, sponge in there. It's kept here in the bottom. And then it has a mirror here. And I did get this off of um, QVC in one of their um, kits, their Today Special Value kits. I have that. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I have a Laura Geller um, Blush and Brighten in Boysenberry. And this is just a little travel size. And this is just a really pretty um, multi, multi colored blush. What is that called? Gosh, I can't think of anything on my words. It's all swirled together, marbled. It's a marbled blush. I like to have a little bit of blush in here just in case I've put on a blush that maybe has faded out throughout the day because um, my days are really, really long. They start out about um, 5 in the morning and go to about 8 o'clock at night. So sometimes I do need a little bit of a freshen up. I also have another powder that I sometimes use as a touch-up powder. And this again is by Laura Geller. Right there. And this is the um, Balance and Brighten Foundation in Porcelain. Um, sometimes this can lean a little bit more pink for me than what I want. It is right there. But I do like the formulation of it, though. I do like. And these do have like a little mirror in them also. But I have that. I also have a little bitty... Um, Benefit Coralista blush. I have that. And that is like a really pretty peach, peach shade. Where that other one was more of a mauve or berry. So that's more of a peach. Very pretty blush. I have that. And then I have a mascara. And this is the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara have that because sometimes I get in a hurry at home and I forget to put my mascara on because that's the last thing I do and I forget so I do like to have a mascara in my purse just in case let's 
see. Then I have a uh, perfume, and this is a Tory Burch um, Rollerball perfume. Um, I had heard a lot of people talk about this, so I wanted to try it, so I thought I would get it in the Rollerball. I don't really care for it, but it is nice to have something in your purse to use just in case you've gotten all sweaty, you've got a little bit of a stink going on, and you're getting ready to go eat dinner, and you need a little touch-up. So, I have that. Not my favorite, though. I wouldn't repurchase that. And then, let's see what we got right here. Okay, here is a lipstick. This is MAC. This is um, Disney's Maleficent um, from that collection. And this is in the color um, True Love's Kiss. And this is an Amplified. I have this in here, which I love. I love a red lipstick. Beautiful. Like that. So I have that. And then I'm carrying. I also have my MAC um, Perenza Schuler Limited Edition lip color in Mangrove. And this is in a matte. This is a beautiful orangey red color. Love this. I usually pretty much wear this just about every day. I like that. It's really pretty. I also have a MAC um, Pro Longwear Lip Color, and this is probably one of my favorite formulations of all time. And this is in the color, let me get my glasses, I can't see it, Cling Peach. Cling Peach, and I will tell you, these this formulation of lipstick, it wears. It wears like iron. That's that color right there. It's just, they stay on. And I don't think that they're drying at all, and I never ever use the lip gloss that comes with it. I just like the way that it looks when it goes on. It dries and it stays on, because I'm all the time drinking like a Diet Coke, or I'm snacking on something, and I don't have any problems with these lipsticks coming off. Really do like them. I have another one also, and it's the one that I have on. <sighs> Can't see. What color is this? This is called Lasting Lust. Lasting Lust. And like I said, it's the color that I have on. Love it. I wish they would come out with more colors. They just don't carry a whole lot, but that's that one there. So if you're looking for a very long wearing lipstick, I would give these a try. Again, that's the um, Pro Long Wear Lip Color by MAC. I also have in here another uh, Perenza Schuler MAC lipstick in pink fringe, and this is in a satin color. And this one's a little bit more vibrant than what I like, but it's that one right there. Still a pretty color. I still like to have a pink lipstick in here. Okay, then I have a, another MAC product, and this is the Berry Bold Patent Polish Lip Pencil. Um, I'm not too crazy about these. I know some people just think that they're the, the bomb.com or whatever. I just don't really care for them. I had ordered some in the, um, what's that one right there? the um, Sharon and Kelly collection, but I sent those back because I just don't care for the formulation. It doesn't stay on. Um, I like something that you put it on and it's going to stay there. These don't, so I don't recommend those. Then I have another MAC lipstick, and this one is called, it's a cream sheen, and it's called Speak Louder. And that's another pink, a rosy pink. We'll swatch it to the other pink so you can kind of tell the difference. That's that one there. Do you like that one? I reach for that one a lot. You can probably tell because I've really made a little bit of a dent in it. And then I have also a Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. And this was in the color Smooth Talker. And I don't normally like lip glosses at all, but the Moxie line of lip glosses, I like. I like a lot. And I actually have a lot of them. 
Not because I bought them, but because they've come in the kits. But that's that color right there. It's really pretty. Very nice, um, sweet, pepperminty, vanilla-y scent to them also. So that's that color there. And then I have in here a um, Buxom gloss. And I just got this. This was in a kit that I got at Sephora because I made a $35 purchase. So I got a little kit that had a, bu a Buxom gloss. had two Buxom glosses and a Buxom lipstick. So I just threw this one in here so I could try it because I've not tried these before. And this one is in the color Sweet Thing. And it's okay. I don't like them as much as I do the Moxies, though. But it's not bad. It's a beautiful color. It is right there. That's the color. It's really, really pretty. And then I also have in here a little brush. This is a tapered crease defining bare minerals brush. This little travel one that I put in here just in case I need to do some blending. And I also have another bare minerals um, tapered shadow shadow brush again, just in case I need to redo some eyeshadow. And um, I don't carry any eyeshadow in here. I just use this bronzer right here, which is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Have this little sample size. I keep this in here also for little touch-ups or if I need to blend out some eyeshadow. If I didn't do a very good job blending, then I can use that. Then I have one more thing in here, and this is my Bare Minerals Moxie get ready lipstick this came in an ipsy bag and this is probably going to have to go away because these lipsticks are so soft that this is like look at it it's horrible it has like gone over and bent and dented and it gets everywhere i love the color the color is really pretty i like the formulation just these lipsticks are so doggone soft they just break. But that's the color right there. I smell good too. I smell wonderful. But anyway, so that is what I have in my makeup bag, my cosmetic bag that I am carry in my purse on a daily basis. And sometimes I switch these out a little bit here and there, but for the most part, that's what I'm carrying in my purse for touch-ups. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.